The Master Watchmaker. A surgeon of time. Her hands must be steadier than a robot. In the heart of Switzerland, time stands still. Hidden from the world lies a sanctuary of precision. A hundred million dollar facility designed for one purpose. Welcome to the home of the ultimate tourbillon. Inside, the air is purer than an operating room. Here, master artisans dedicate their lives to perfection. This is where raw earth becomes eternal luxury. Let's begin the transformation. Inside the factory, full process. It starts with the raw elements. Solid 18 karat gold. Heavy, valuable, but formless. Verifying the purity before melting. Anything less than perfect is rejected. The gold enters the induction furnace. Using electromagnetic fields to generate heat. Temperatures rise to over 1000 degrees Celsius. The magnetic field stirs the alloy to ensure consistency. Ready for casting. A perfect stream of liquid luxury. Filling the mold to create a continuous bar. The bar solidifies rapidly. Cooling down to room temperature. Quenching locks in the metal's hardness. Steam and water clean the surface. Now we compressed the grain structure. Rolling makes the metal denser and stronger. Stamping out the rough shape of the main plate. These discs are the canvas for our masterpiece. The gold discs Enter the Hall of Robots. Here, 20 autonomous machines work in silence. Automation ensures consistent handling. The raw gold is locked into the five axis stage. The chamber is sealed. Spindle spin up to speed. And the sculpting begins. Layer by layer, the watch case emerges. Hollowing out the space for the movement.
Automatic tool changes happen in milliseconds. Five-axis movement allows access to every angle. Drilling the port for the winding crown. Engraving the unique identity. Cleaning the surface for inspection. The rough shape is complete. But it is far from finished. Entering the ultrasonic bath. Sound waves. Sound waves remove every trace of oil. Clean and ready for the next stage. Meanwhile, the internal components are being born. For the gears, we use electricity. Wire EDM cutting. Sparks erode the metal with micron precision. Creating teeth shapes impossible for traditional drills. Swiss lathes handle the screws and pins. Turning steel into screws the size of dust. Quality control starts now. Leaving the noise of the machines behind. We enter the quiet sanctuary of the finishers. Here, patience is the only currency. Tools that haven't changed in centuries. The raw part is precise, but lifeless. First, the rough marks are filed away. Diamond paste and wood. Anglage. Hand beveling the edges. Rubbing back and forth for hours. Until a perfect mirror finish appears. Next, we decorate the surfaces. Perlage. Circular graining. Thousands of manual presses for a single plate. For the visible bridges, Côte de Genève. Creating the famous Geneva stripes. The transformation is undeniable. Now, the hardest technique of all. Black polishing. A surface so flat, it turns invisible. Finally, surface protection. Rhodium plating prevents corrosion.
giving them a brilliant silver shine. Setting the jewels. Friction fit to hold oil for decades. The master watchmaker, a surgeon of time. Her hands must be steadier than a robot. The Torbalon cage consists of 80 parts, weighing less than a gram. Every tolerance is measured in microns. Aligning the structure. Screws thinner than a human hair. One slip and the movement is scratched forever. The balance wheel. The pendulum of the wrist. Merging the oscillator with the cage. The gravity-defying mechanism is complete. Installing the power reserve. The gear train transmits the energy. Lubrication. Digital precision ensures no stress on the metal. Checking the end shake. The marriage. Installing the tourbillon. It fits perfectly. Connecting the interface. The first wind, waking up the machine. Energy flows from the spring to the escapement. And it lives. Beating 28,800 times per hour. But a naked movement is fragile. It needs armor. Before the face goes on, we fight the dust one last time. The sunburst dial, painted with 30 layers of lacquer. It locks onto the movement. Pressing the hands, a blind fit. The clearance is just 0 0.1 millimeters. Sapphire crystal. Sealing the capsule. The exhibition back lets the owner admire the engine. The metal is finished. Now for the leather. Laser cut for precision. Hand stitched for durability. The saddle stitch. Sealing the edges. The final connection.
It looks perfect. But is it tough? The Abyss Test. Simulating a depth of 300 meters. The seals hold tight. Simulating the G-forces of a tennis serve. Precision confirmed. Ready for the world. From raw earth to refined luxury. It is a statement. A statement of art. The true mark of high horology. Made in Switzerland. Precision is our promise. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for the next process.